Hello? Um, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? Let's try again. Hello? <coughs> good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Is it a problem with your voice? How can I help you? Yo, welcome to another Unwrapping Sam video. In this video, I'm going to use some personal real stories, real experiences to show you some daily facts that for me can be more problematic than for all the people. For me, for all the transgender, transgender. Transgen transgender people. What we have just seen is something that happens to me every single time I call somebody. I get misgendered on the phone all the time. Why? Why? Because we associate, we're used to link high-pitched voice with female. A really low voice. I wish with male. I'm a man. My voice is pretty high because I'm not on testosterone. I am not on hormones. Hormones. You do not need to be on hormones. You do not need to take hormones to be trans. Why somebody would start hormone therapy or not is just their decision. It's our personal decision. It is not that you are trans. You need to take hormones. You need to go through surgery. There are a lot of assumptions related to trans people. And we're going to talk about this in this video as well. So yes, it is not that I am 12. It is just that I'm not on hormones at the moment. The reason why I'm not doing it is completely mine. You are trans because you're born trans. You do not need to be on hormones to be valid as trans. I have heard a lot of times this question. Oh, so you're trans. Are you taking hormones? That is a really personal question. If you are my close friend, you know. If you are not, then do not ask. This brings to my head another topic that I often think about. It's just myself. How much hormones are really your own choice? Or is a choice that society, in a way, makes you have to choose? One of the biggest issues for a trans person is the fact of passing. It's all that your life kind of goes around. I go to a public place and then 80% of the people take me for the man who I really am. And then this 20% of people take me for the woman I am not, but they think I am because I do not fit inside the boxes that they have. This 20% of people hurts. Assume it. Assume it. Assume it. I no, if I was in hormones, I would reach that point where my body, my voice, would fit inside their boxes. Then they would be able to see me as the man who I truly am. And I would not have to suffer every time I meet somebody because I would know that I would pass. Passing or not passing? That is the question. How much hormones is something that we really want to take for us to look ourselves in the mirror and really feel comfortable with our body? Or how much hormones are something that we are kind of like mentally obliged to go through because the fact of passing is for us a really, really important matter. If people didn't assume, assume it, assume it. our gender at first based on how we physically look, when you're not sure about somebody's gender, the safest way to go is always the non-binary way, the neutral way, because then you know that you're not gonna make any mistakes. If people did that to me. They gave me the space I need to just say like, my pronouns are male pronouns. I am male. Please do treat me like this. It would make a huge difference for me, for trans people. It's something that is starting to be done, but it needs to be done way more. If people didn't assume, assume it. Everybody's lives, I think, would be way easier. I had this funny story, which is funny. I didn't get offended at all. I was hired to play in this social meeting. It was such a cool event. They watched my YouTube videos and then I called them. Because, well, they called me and the one woman was like, sorry, I just saw a man playing the piano. Yeah, I'm just a trans man. <laughs> she was like, oh my god, I'm, yeah, yes, of course, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Everything depends on you, how you take it, how you deal with it. It's such a delicate thing. And this brings to my head another story that we're gonna watch right now. Yo, boy, what are you doing here? Don't you know that the boys' restaurant's on the other side of the corridor? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Oh my it's okay. It's this is a real story. This happened to me. We are in a female restroom in the gym that I went in London. There are not non-binary restrooms, male restrooms, female restrooms. If I go to the male restrooms, I would definitely not feel comfortable for obvious reasons. If I go to the female restrooms, I would not feel comfortable. So I used to go to the bathroom adapted for people with a handicap, which was not always free, of course. It's a space that is for handicapped people so I should not be using either where do I go
So I was there getting changed. I was giving her my bag with my towel, as you can see, wearing shorts. She was behind me getting dressed. And then she started yelling at me like, for real. The whole entire room started staring at us after that. What are you doing here? Don't you know that the boys restrooms around the corner? And then I just turned around really, really slow and she stared at me for like 10 seconds. Her facial expression. <laughs> And she started apologizing so much, blah blah. It's a situation where I do not get misgendered, but then I get misgendered because this person corrects themselves. That is exhausting. You are rightly gendering me, but then you correct yourself in a wrong way because you think you are right the wrong way. <laughs> It's constant stress. When you meet somebody new, when you have an interaction with somebody that does not know you, they are judging you consciously or unconsciously to put you in a place where they can function so you are not something unknown anymore. If they see me as the man who I really am, I am afraid that they find out that I'm not the kind of man that they will call a man or I'm not the kind of man that they will use the male pronouns with. For example, this woman did exactly what I'm most afraid of. That hurts. That's pretty exhausting. I take it depending on the day it's usually pretty tiring this happened to me with this woman i had to give a lot of explanations and then i felt on the spot a lot in a way that is not nice i also had another story in the same restroom when a little boy came in and he pointed and he was like why is a boy in the female restrooms and i almost answered dude you're a boy too and you are in the female restrooms he was like or you always put on the spot you're always scared of how things can turn out always feeling that you're not in the right place this brings to my head another story that happened to me a few days ago I was having lunch with my family. The owner went out. I was eating then and he started talking to me. You, the boy, you should meet my granddaughter. She's in the kitchen washing dishes. She's very pretty. I'm sure you will like her. And I was there eating. I didn't say anything. I kind of like smiled. So immediately my brain started warning me. I immediately stopped talking. I know that people misgender me when they hear me talk. They either take me for a 10 year old boy as a woman. So I felt scared and I shut up. I didn't say anything, I just smiled. Because I was afraid of him finding out. I mean, I am assuming he, maybe then he would be the nicest person in the world. I was just like very afraid of. It is hard. Some people are not nice. You never know when, so you always have to be careful. It was funny what happened. It wasn't funny for me. I was like, he's gonna find out. He's gonna find out. He's gonna find out. Meeting new people. It's a bit tricky. We have seen this episode with the woman in the restrooms. Real episode. This brings to my head another story. Let's watch it. Yo, ladies' toilets are on the other side. Sorry, mister. Male sleuths are outside. Ma'am, wrong place. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Out, woman! What are you doing? What are you doing? For God's sake, I just want to pee. For many people, gender neutral bathrooms are not important. For people like me, are essential. I personally hate going to public bathrooms. If I go to the female bathroom, people look at me weird and I do feel very uncomfortable because it's not my place. If I go to the male bathrooms, people look at me weird, weird. I feel judged. I usually go to the handicapped bathroom if there is. But if there isn't, it's a big deal for me. Think about it, just go pee. It's not a big deal for anybody. I tell you, it is a big deal for me. I remember this time I was in a bar and I went to the male bathroom and then the waiter shouted at me, Hey, wrong bathroom! <laughs> Another time in the airport, I went to the female and this airport worker shouted at me, wrong bathroom. And I had to misgender myself in order to feel more safe instead of being brave and saying, you're right, and then going to the male bathroom. I know I still have to get stronger, but it is sad that I have to fight against these daily facts to try to live a life without so many little problems. Society can help a lot by changing behaviors that do not make any difference their lives to your life, but makes a huge impact in our life quality. I just wanted to make this video to show you these little facts that for me are big facts. This brings to my head another true story. Let's watch it. So you're trans, right? You have surgery and all, you know, all that. What's the size of your balls? Is your penis big enough? If I don't ask you about your genitals, why would you ask me about mine? Trans people are not supposed to be in hormones just for the fact that they are trans. Asking about our body facts is really morbid. And I have had this a lot of times. Like, have you had surgery yet? This? Honestly, just think about it for a second. You 
cool. You're not. Nice. Those boobs are yours, or did you get an operation? Did you put them like big? Are they natural? Hey, do you shave your? Do you have the period? Why do you even care? It's my business, not my partner's business. I don't mean to sound rude. We are much more than people that go on hormones and get surgery to be happy. You can be happy without all of that. Some people can't, and they do that, and it's just their business. I hope I've made you laugh along this video and I hope you can get the point of this video that is just show you some reality that you're probably not used to see. Thank you very much for watching. My arm, if you're wondering about it, my arms is better. I'm going to have physiotherapy now for a while. I'm starting to play the piano a little bit, slowly getting better. How cool is my hair again? My mom doesn't like it, but I love it. Keep safe and sane and take care. Over and out.